My brothers and sisters of Islam, today our life is engulfed in running after this dunya. In 10 years time, if you live 20 years time, you will look back at the car that you used to drive today and you will say, Audhu Billah, how did I drive that car? Your children, your grandchildren will laugh at the phone that you use today and they'll say, oh my God, how could my grandfather ever use such an old contraption? What we run after today, that is the most coveted of all today, Ya Khwati, will be looked at one day as nothing but a timepiece. We put into some museum and someone will look back and say, look at how those people lived. Look at the cars they drove, the phones they used. Oh my God, how little they had and how much we have. This is the curse of running after this dunya. Is that even if you win the rat race, you are still a rat. On the other hand, those who run after the akhirah, they wake up in the morning working for the cause of Allah, working for the pleasure of Allah. And they spend the nights in the pleasure of Allah. They spend their days making Muslimin happy, knowing that the reward of making a Muslim happy is going to be nothing but Jannah. And they go to sleep happy, knowing that the best of happiness will be the day that they meet Allah Azzawajal, when Allah will reward them with nothing but Jannah. Those who work for the Akhirah, Ikhwati, are very few in number today. But it is only because only few have really, really realized how beautiful this life really is. Al Hassan al Basri, Rahimallah, he said in a statement, Ya ayyuha shabab, O young men and women, I'malu lil akhirah, work for the akhirah. For verily I found in my life that anyone who works for the akhirah, Allah also gives him the dunya. Then he continues and he says, But I've never ever found in my life that anyone who works for the dunya ever gets anything from the akhirah. That to work for the akhirah is to liberate yourself. That to be a slave to Allah Azzawajal is liberation from slavery to everything else. That to work for akhirah, to work in a dawah project, to work inviting people to Islam, to work as a teacher of Islam, to work to study Islam, or an Islamic project that benefits the Muslim ummah. The ikhwati, they are the people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala suffices them in their life.